Hey team, today we're going to look at your Fit 3D posture report. So what will happen once you've had one Fit 3D body scan, you'll get sent a posture report. It takes about 10 minutes and sometimes up to two days. It'll, it'll separately come through in an email um, and then it'll automatically get added to your dashboard. So if, if you're logging in outside of the email, just go to fit3d.com, log in, and when you scroll down, you'll see your posture report. Um, what will happen, you'll get a front, um, side and back analysis. The best view is really just the side on view. I've scanned myself literally like four or 500 times by the time I've made this video. And your front and back view, they just change too much depending on how, how you stood on that particular day. So um, the side on view is very good just to educate you and increase your awareness about your current posture. It obviously relies on you being in a relaxed position as per your instructed on the day of your testing. But if you, were to try and stand up really tall, it, it wouldn't give you an accurate result. So when you when you look at your results, um, the posture's compared, basically the ankle joint, a straight line will come vertical up from the ankle joint and it'll tell you how far your head, shoulders, hip and knees are from that ankle joint. The head itself, so zero is the optimal for all of these numbers. Um, I see no one at zero, no, no one has the perfect posture. But in today's society, a lot of people are very hunched forward, their heads forward, their shoulders are rounded, their hips are very tight. Very, very common in um, today's world, we're doing a lot of forward-based tasks. So for your head, if, if that's more than five centimetres forward, something, a good stretch um, is to do the opposite than that, which is chin tucks. Now, I'll just show you briefly in the video that we made. A of myself doing chin tucks. So you just sit in a chair with your arms straight and your shoulders relaxed. You look straight ahead and you're trying to tuck your head in and out just like a drawer. And you might repeat this up to 10 times and, and a few times a day. So you just try and do the opposite, especially if you're doing any desk work and on a laptop at all. If your shoulders are rounded, then a lot of the time it's gonna Put more pressure on your chest structures, maybe on your neck, um, leads to headaches. Um, so again, if your shoulders are more than five centimetres forward, it's worth doing something about it. Um, common ones are stretch your chest, or otherwise you lie back on a foam roller. Um, in this uh, video we've got just coming up here, you lie on your back and you just try and pop Yeah, and you start at maybe bra line and then you work your way up the body. There's not much point putting a foam roller on your lower back. But if you're arching backwards, it's the opposite direction to what you do when you're just sitting all day in front of a computer or if you're doing forward-based tasks with kids or other jobs around the house. With the hips, if your hips are more than five centimetres forward, well, basically your hips, they, they attach, your main hip flexor muscles, they attach to all five vertebra, so your lower back vertebra. So if they're tight, they're going to pull your lower back from the front, which will pull you back into more of an arch, or what they call hyperlordosis, which is too much of an arch, which on some people, if that goes on for too long, it leads to increased lower back pain. And especially if you sit a lot, um, your hips are in a shortened position, um, which again can um, pull on your back more. So to stretch the hips, what you do is hip flexor stretch, which is coming up on the screen right now. And it's just been in that position and you lunge forward slightly. Some people will pad the knee um, just to take a bit of pressure off and you might hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. So the evidence on how long to hold a stretch is pretty up in there at the moment. I wouldn't worry too much about the knees. I haven't come up with a, um, particular stretch to help with the knee uh, posture. Now all these um, stretches, they're just to try and counter some of the forward-based things that we're doing in our life. To stop actually needing to do stretches in the first place, um, you'd set your desk up properly, you know, raise your laptop up high, put it on some books, or simply just put it on a box of beers, get, it, get an external keyboard and mouse, um, and just raise it up to an appropriate height for you, so you're not leaning forward all, all day. With your hips, for example, you might consider when you're standing, not having such an arch back, learn how to use your pelvis just to um, adjust your posture throughout the day. Also strengthening your glute muscles and your abdominals might also help 
um, decrease the pressure on your hips in the first place. So that's the main stuff about your posture report. For those who have had more than one scan, it will compare your posture um, every time you scan. So I'll just show you briefly um, on the on the screen uh, a posture comparison report. Um, it'll give you a front, back, and side view again. Just look at the side-on view, and on this example, this guy's not only lost a lot of weight, which looks visually very pretty cool. He worked very hard in the gym and doing some exercise. It'll just show his baseline head versus his current head, and then it decreased by 5.5 centimeters over a period of a few months. And same with the shoulders, they decreased their protraction or forward roundedness uh, by about 7.5 centimeters. So you can make um, improvements in posture. It will show in the graphs over time a blue versus black graph. Um, blue is the first test he had, and black is the second. So visually, it's quite cool to track over time. Again, a reminder, you just have to stay in a relaxed position whilst you're using the machine. There's a lot more to posture than what we've just touched on. Um, there is some other strength tests that you can do. If you're really unsure and you are getting pain because of what you think is poor posture, then touch base with your local physiotherapist and uh, they can help you out. If you have any questions about this, feel free to flick me an email on peter at peterhphysio.nz. All right, guys, happy training, eh?